Hi, this is my review of the PSE Black Snake Recurve Bow. As you can see, it also comes in a silver color. Other than the color, these bows are identical. This is the box the bow shipped in. It came in diagonally, and it shipped with this package of accessories that includes the string, some arrow rests, and a knock point. If you have your bow strung this direction, you have it reverse. You want to flip it around so that when the bow is strung, it has this normal curve to it that a recurve is supposed to have. The sticker will be facing outward away from the string, and the arrow string will lie comfortably within the grooves on the tips, as, long, as well as the guide grooves on the limbs. If you have it the other direction, it is very dangerous to shoot that way, and please don't do so as you could injure yourself. The string itself has some build-up area, it's called the leaving, and if you install the string upside down, you'll have more leaving below the arrow than you have above the arrow. So you want to reverse that direction so that when the arrow is knocked, and you have the same amount of leaving roughly above and below the arrow. The bow does ship with its knock point, which is what this little thing is here. However, I'd recommend getting a better knock point. Um, Boning makes them as do other companies. The metal is much more robust and they have rubber um, liner on the inside to help protect the string leaving as well as um, affix the knock point in place so it doesn't slide on you. I use a pair of knock pliers. Um, they're very inexpensive and I recommend getting those. It will help keep the knock um, when it's installed to bend in a perfectly circular shape. It might not come all the way touching each other and that's fine. Um, a pair of pliers could possibly pinch the knock so that it's not circular then you don't have as good of a connection. It also might damage the string so get a pair of knock pliers. Other people have mentioned in their reviews that it had some stickum gummy stuff um, on the bow and I had the same issue as you can see here. It looks like it's some sort of a sticker residue maybe for manufacturing, I don't know. But I went ahead and got uh, some gauze pads from the first aid kit and borrowed some um, nail polish remover from my wife. I soaked down one of the gauze pads, rubbed it on the, um, the stickum, and within just literally two minutes it was all removed and I took a clean gauze pad and wiped up the residue. This is the knock, the arrow rest that I chose to go with. I prefer these spring actuated jobbies over the plastic kind that come with. But the problem is, is it's too long because this um, the bow riser is very narrow. So I took a pair of kitchen shears and I trimmed it down so that it was the same width as the stock arrow rest that comes with the kit. And then I went ahead and installed it. Now this should hold up much better because this has much lower resistance than what the stock type one has. And the adhesive sticker on this is quite a bit better than what the one that comes in the kit. Some people have also mentioned that they had some rough spots on their handle, and as did I. I believe this is a result of the manufacturing process. Um, they mentioned that they just took some sandpaper or whatever and sanded this down, but I wanted something a little bit better. So I went to the sporting goods store and I got some tennis racket handle wrap. This was like $5, and I just started at the top, followed the instructions, and went down. And when I ran out of space, I cut the... the uh, the grip wrap and then I use the provided tape and I've got a really nice handle here that it looks a lot better too and not only is it functional. If you're looking for an alternative to the to the PSE Snake you might consider the Barnett Sport Flight. It is the same height as the Snake is but this is more of a longbow design so you'll end up with a bit more stacking as you draw past the draw length. So these are both 60 inch bows which is an adult size bow um, and I believe that they're classified as youth bows because of their draw weight. Um, you know, this one has a 25 pound draw weight. The PSE Snake has a 20 pound draw weight, but the draw weight is dependent upon how far you're drawing the string back. So I have a 30 inch draw length, and I can shoot both of these bows just fine. They've held up under numerous shooting situations with no problems whatsoever. Um, and they're a perfectly good choice, either one of them, for a beginning archer, whether they're an adult adult or a child or adolescent, what have you. I would say as long as you're over five foot tall, either one of these bows is a good choice. They both have their strengths and weaknesses. Um, I like the, the snake a little bit better, although if, you're, if you really want something a more advanced on the handle situation, then definitely the sport flight would be the way to go.